Hello world, here we have a latest machine experiment. This is a wooden Humphrey. It's uh, pretty much all wood CNC mill. Uh, it's a new level of uh, ease of fabrication uh, machine. Uh, it's the most fabricatable machine we made so far. You can see the base is made from oriented strand board, OSB, as well as the torsion box gantry is made from OSB. And then the rails, yeah, which is relatively naughty when it comes to precision machines, they are made from MDF material. Uh, this is a black MDF called Volcromat, and you can see that also applies for the rails on the y-axis. And then you see we have, uh, in this case, we have polycarbonate teeth. You can also see that the, the rack is modular. So you have these dowels to register the rack, and then we have screws to fixture it. And you can see like this, it's modular. You can make the rack from different size uh, pieces of material and uh, swap them uh, and test what, what makes sense. The same applies for the actual uh, material that the uh, axes are made of. These are also just screwed on, they're not glued. So you can upgrade this machine to have steel or aluminum rails uh, if that is needed. But the whole goal here is to make a machine that's very easy to fabricate, very easy to get started with. Um, you can see the gantry has full uh, width of a standard plate, so it's 4 feet or uh, 1.22 meters wide. And in this case, the bed is, uh, is only 60 centimeters uh, deep, so that's a quarter of a plate or 2 feet. But you can make, of course, as long of a bed as you want. And this is sort of a, a gateway drug machine. It's a Trojan horse, so you com it's a very low threshold to commit to fabricate this machine because it's, it's fast to make all the parts. It's four and a half hours cutting time to make all the parts for the whole machines, the whole structure, the rack and pinion, uh, everything. Uh, but it's also very cheap, so it's a very low investment in both time and money since all you need to do is buy oriented strand board and MDF and a little bit of plastic for the, the rack and the pinion. Just moved the machine and the first test of uh, PCB milling traces worked pretty well. Of course, I moved the machine through the traces right here, but in general, it's pretty acceptable backlash given that the whole uh, machine frame is made from wood and it uh, uh, has a work area with a width of 1.2 meters on the gantry. You can also see we did some quick test cuts in aluminium, which looks promising. Uh, I wanted to share with you the the biggest challenge of the machine now is, is there's a little bit of flex here. Uh, so you can see here, it's a little bit, it's not a whole lot, but if I apply pressure here, you can see it's flexing a little bit. You can see we also have a modular skirt here on the machine. So uh, for ease of uh, maintenance and so on. Ooh. So here, you can see how the it's a little bit much of a distance from here going through here and here so we need to to find a way to to reinforce this arc a little bit because what is quite successful here is it's it's a very a long way for the dust to travel down over uh, past the dust skirt and over this and land onto the rails so like this we can protect the rails from the cheap material and they have low chance of dust buildup but the downside is the, this distance, so that's something we need to, to work on. Because now we have a little bit more flex, but in general, giving the time and money needed to build this machine and level of DIY, the performance does seem to be quite spectacular. So we'll keep you updated on the testing. Uh, links to files for downloading and fabricating uh, this machine yourself, you'll find in the text below.